also seen you as a high school coach, you know, taking kids that really were in some precarious situations and holding their hand so they could go on. And almost everybody that we've mentioned so far, per is now a college graduate and now here being constructive, productive members of society. And so I say all that to say, for all of you who remember Purvis from the Final Four and the NBA and all of that, that's not what we're here to talk about today. What Purvis has decided to do is to carry on and continue this mission, but now you're going to do it through a grassroots vehicle. Tell us about New Jersey Scholars. What is it and what are you guys trying to accomplish? Well, obviously, this, this will be uh, our first year. Uh, First year on the EYBL circuit, we are a Nike EYBL organization, which means that we have a ninth grade, tenth grade, and a junior team that will participate in EYBL. Uh, Let's translate uh, that for, for, for people that don't know. That's 15 and under, 16 and under, 17 and under on Correct. the EYBL. On the EYBL circuit. Playing to go to Peach Jam. That's the goal, to make it the Peace Jam. There you go. All so, right. So um, uh, so we are the New Jersey-based uh, ball club, but we obviously, uh, because of the, uh, the connecting states, Pennsylvania as well as New York, Delaware, uh, we have that option of you know, having kids come from those particular states. Ex so, explain, explain that rule. Um, you said connecting states. So if I'm, if I'm balling out in Chester or Scranton or Harrisburg and I really like what you guys are doing, I can come play for you? Absolutely. A absolutely. Because it, it's basically if, if, if the state touches your state, uh, you, have, you, you have that option. You also have the option of three out-of-state uh, players. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, you can have kids that are out-of-state uh, but obviously they would have to have some type of, uh, tie to the state. For, uh, let's say like a kid may go to a different, may come in to Philadelphia and go to any, but the kids from DC. Got it. So because of the school ties, we are able to take a kid like that. So for New Jersey, we talking about Delaware, New York, Pennsylvania, is that Correct. it? Any others connect with New Jersey? Nobody else connects with New Jersey. That's right? it. That's right. it. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's so, it. So, geographically, where are you situated in the state? North, Central, South Jersey? Well, the good thing about us is we, we have satellite uh, facilities. Uh, so we have a facility in North, North New Jersey. We have a facility in uh, South Jersey. And we're in the process now of getting a facility uh, in the Philadelphia area. So we want to be able to, you know, have, have satellite gyms to provide the opportunity for kids to, you know, get workouts. Uh, we also want to have a, because we're going to have kids that go to schools in different areas. You know, it's not just about the basketball, you know, you have to have that whole component, that academic. Component. Well, you guys put it in the name. Was that intentional? I mean, you really want to set the tone? That 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 was intentional. That's that's our focus. Uh, obviously, our the conversation we talked about our, our graduates. So it's not just a talk. It's it, it it's the it's the goal. It's the objective. And if you keep instilling that into the kid, then the next thing you know, it happens. And I think that has to be the conversation piece because not everybody's going to the NBA. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's playing professional basketball. Even really good players will not make the yeah. NBA. Correct. And uh, so that's why we, we chose the name New Jersey Scholars because that's what we wanted to be about. That's what we're about. And that's our main focus. Now, obviously, basketball is the vehicle for them having that opportunity. So we have to make sure that we provide uh, – you know, that opportunity on the basketball court so they can flourish. So in, in doing that, uh, 
you know, we, you know, my background, uh, I've been through it. One of my messages to the kids is that, listen, I'm pretty sure all of you uh, want to be a McDonald's All-American at the high school level. Well, they want to play in that McDonald's game. So I tell them, well, I did that. I participated in that McDonald's game. Mm -hmm. Then I also tell the kids, I said, I know all of you want to go to college. And what's your goal in college? To win that national championship. Mm -hmm. Well, I did that. Mm -hmm. Not only did I do that, but I was MVP in the game. So I relay that message. And then the last part of the message is, all of these kids want that opportunity to get drafted and play in the NBA. So I relay that message that I was the number one pick in the NBA. I had a long career in the NBA. So I try to, you know, make sure they understand I've been down that road they're traveling. And I want to give them all the advice and mentor them so that they, you know, know the landmines and be able to, be able to understand that no matter what, the most important thing is to get that degree. It's just like the conversation we have having now telling everybody the most important thing. You want to have a voice? Vote. Mm -hmm. You want to have a voice? You know, go to college. Graduate from college. That, that's part of the process. So that's going to be our message. And, um, and we think that's the winning formula for the, for the youth really want to get across to the people who might be listening or viewing the extent to which I, for lack of a better word, just flat out trust what you do with young people because I've seen it so close. You know, I like, I, I walked in a gym, had to be five years ago. You know, I just came down to visit you and you had a skinny kid and he was left handed and you were like, ah, Dell, he gonna be the one. He gonna do this, he gonna do that. And I'm looking, I'm like, Perv, you see something I don't really see right now. You know, but I, it's stuck in my mind. So, you know, if he's your kid, he becomes my kid. So I'm following, I'm following. And that kid's a freshman at Kentucky today, you know? I mean, this has happened over and over and over again. And I think one of the things that it has allowed you to be so successful in doing that is the uh, ability to which you've been able to instill a sense of loyalty in the families and the kids. Like, I don't re recall a bunch of kids leaving Life Center. I don't mm -hmm. recall a bunch of kids, you know, thinking it's somewhere else is better. You know, even when Lance left, you know, the program had kind of ended, but you were right there every game, every workout, every practice, following and staying attached to his development. Fast forward a couple years, Perv, you know, it's not kind of like a new era. You know, our best eighth grader or rising ninth grader in Philly, he's playing in Memphis right now. You know, he left town. Our two best 10th graders have left. They're now 11th graders. They're playing in Florida. The best kid from central Pennsylvania has left, and he's playing out with LeBron and them in California. So we're in a new era, man. Are you confident that you'll, your message, because I know how you bring it, Per, you're pretty kind of straightforward and down to earth. You got a lot of that Savannah in you that you can't shake. <laughs> so, uh, down uh, home country boy, that that's is, right. Is it going to, is it going to, you know, is it going to translate? Are the kids going to? be able to take it like you've been giving it for the past 15, 20 years? Well, well, I, I would say this, Dale. I think first, let, let me start by acknowledging you. I think a lot of, a lot of, a lot of your listeners out there, your followers, I, I want them to understand that all these kids that Dale and I have talked about that have gone on to graduate, uh, that have gone on, uh, that are doing great things, Dale had a hand in that as well, because all of these kids, Dale tutored. I brought these kids that all, all these kids I brought to Dale. So, you know, we want to thank you. I know Pastor Dave loves you. I love you for the things that you do, academically helping these kids. And I just want your listeners to know that. Um, but I think, um, I think the message is, I think the message is going to be clear. I think, you know, from a basketball perspective, all these kids, you know, they've got that dream. They got that dream of playing in the league. And I think if you keep the message honest to the kids and you show them 
you know, what it takes to be successful in the NBA uh, through hard work. It's going to be hard work. It's going to be discipline. You know, I tell guys all the time, um, Steph Curry didn't wake up shooting a basketball like that. That's hours upon hours upon hours of work. And I think, uh, you know, the youth today, you know, they're definitely extremely talented. You know, I'm, I'm a guy and I will, I will tell you that the league now, there are more talented players than when I played. And that's because, you know, these kids are getting trained at a young age. These kids are doing different things at a young age. So, so their talent level, they're achieving success a lot earlier. So with success, you know, you have to be smart about what you're doing. And I think, you know, the, the good part about what we're doing as an organization is we want to bring an entire wellness to the kid, like I said before. And, and you know, we want to be able to help that family, you know, help that family understand what it's going to take for this kid to be successful. You know, there's nothing wrong. You know, there's nothing wrong with kids leaving the state mm-hmm. to go some, some, someplace else. How many high two. schools did you go to, Per? I only went to one. How many colleges did school. you go to, Per? I only went to one. How many years did you play in college, Per? I played four. You a dinosaur, man. They don't make you no that, more. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's true. But, but. LeBron did not play college basketball, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 look at the look at look at the things that he's doing. And I'm not just talking about basketball. Mm-hmm. You know his activism. You know he's a tremendous, tremendous role model for our young people.